Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Vert. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do Future Shock Death Bikes in GTA Online after patch. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. To do this glitch, you're going to want to have a facility, an Avenger with a vehicle workshop, a CEO office with a garage, a Future Shock Death Bike, and a random garage. By random garage, I mean a garage that isn't your facility or CEO garage. So it could be your apartment or an arcade garage or just whatever you can call in cars with. Make sure you to fill up your facility with LGs and also have a CEO garage that's max storage that says 20 out of 20. And you're also going to want to make sure you have a random garage with LGs as well in it that you can just call in at any time. Alright, so for the dupe glitch, what you're going to do is run over to the bike that you're duping. So in my case, it's going to be the Future Shock Death Bike. So now you're just going to want to hop on the bike and press left on the D-pad. Also, I'm pretty sure you read by the title, these are clean dupes and you don't need custom plates. But if you do have custom plates, you can just dupe the ISI because it'll give you 400k more and you'll get 1.8 mil. But anyways, once you load in, what you're going to want to do is go down to lights. It could be anything, you just need to change something about it. I like changing the lights because it's just there. It's pretty easy to do. So once you go to lights, go to headlights and then change the lights. So instead of stock lights, I'm going to xenon lights. After you change them, go ahead and back out and press exit the Avenger. Now you're just going to wait for this to load. But as this loads, go ahead and check out my AC dupe glitch if you do have custom plates like I was said. I'll leave a link in the description for the tutorial for that. So once you load in, it's going to kick you off your bike, but what you're going to do is just hop back on your bike and drive out the facility. And once you drive out the facility, go ahead and get off the bike and open your interaction menu. Once you open your interaction menu, go ahead and go to vehicles and return vehicle to storage. Your bike should disappear. Once this happens, go ahead and call the mechanic up and just wait for him to dial. Now the random garages I was talking about, you're going to want to call in an LG from that garage that you chose. So in my case, I'm going to be using my arcade garage and as you can see, I have a bunch of LGs in there. So I'm just going to call in my LG. Once you call in your LG, just wait for your mechanic to deliver it. Alright, now that your LG is here, what you want to do is get inside the LG and enter your facility. Once you enter your facility, you should get this notification. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, what you're going to want to do is just swap in a car that you have inside your facility. So I'm just going to swap this car in. And once you swap it in, what you're going to want to do is run back over to the death bike. Once you guys get to your death bike, go ahead and hop on it and press left on the D-pad again. Now this time you guys will enter the Avenger without your death bike. So once this loads, what you guys are going to want to do is go to the front to the cockpit and you're going to get this pop up on the top left. You're just going to want to wait here for 20 seconds. I'll put a timer to help you guys out. Now you're just going to want to press enter. Now you guys should still be staring at the door. Once you guys are still staring at the door, just wait for it to load in and eventually it should kick you out. All right, then you guys should be put into the facility. Now just wait a couple seconds and you'll get kicked out of that as well. And yep, there you go. Now, once you guys get kicked out of the facility, on the top left, it should say you are no longer you no longer have access to the facility. So just go ahead and call your mechanic now. Now, what you guys are gonna want to do is just call in the car that you called in last time. It should be swapped with the car you replaced in the beginning. So in my case, it's gonna be the Dominator. All right. So now, what you guys are gonna want to do is just go ahead and either drop teleport or call in a Buzzard or a Sparrow. So. In my case, I'm just going to call in my Sparrow. And what you guys are going to want to do now is go to your CEO grab. So I'm just going to fast forward until I get there. Our last video hit 2.4k views. I can't thank you guys enough for the love and support you guys showed on that video. We also hit 100 subscribers. So 
I'm going to bring you guys more glitches and content for you guys. And if they patch this glitch, best believe I'm going to find a new glitch. But All right, so once you guys get to your CEO garage, what you guys are going to want to do is just land and steal a pedestrian vehicle. So I'm just going to steal a random pedestrian vehicle. As you can see right here, here's a vehicle. I'm just going to snatch this vehicle. And once you guys snatch the vehicle, what you guys want to do is just go ahead and drive to your CEO garage. So I'm just going to drive into CEO garage. And also go into the garage that's full so in my case it's garage three once you guys enter garage three you should get this notification you just want to press accept and it should load you into your garage and then it's going to teleport you out of the facility you don't have to press anything it's just going to do it by its own once that happens what you guys are going to do is run over to your death bike if this glitch does work for you make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video i will appreciate every single like i get All right, now what you guys want to do is press right on the D-pad instead of left on the D-pad and press access the facility workshop. Now what you guys want to do is just change the headlights back to stock lights. It doesn't really matter what you change, just change something about it again and then exit the facility. Once you guys exit the facility, you guys can return the bike and the dupe glitch is done. So to prove that it duped, I'm just going to call my mechanic and here, mechanic, there you are. All right. And as you can see here, arcade garage, future shock death bike, replaced for the dominator. The dominator used to be there in the early in the video, you can see. And in my facility as well, future shock death bike. So it did dupe. So thank you guys for watching. This glitch still works as of August 21st. Have a great day. See you guys later. Bye. Take care.